learning and solving equations. From the Edexcel syllabus, we have that the learning objectives for this topic are to set up simple linear equations from data given, or to form and solve quadratic equations from data given in a context. For this topic, questions will ask you to form an equation. These types of questions often ask you about problems relating to geometry, such as angles, area, or perimeter. These shapes can be straightforward shapes, like rectangles or squares, they might be garden problems, or they might be compound L shapes. Let's do three examples. Number one, form an equation for the perimeter of the shape. If the perimeter is 36 centimetres, find x. So first, we have to find the perimeter by adding all the sides together. For this shape, the width is x plus 3 and the length is x plus 5. So let's add those two together. And then we also need to add on the other two sides. So that gives us x plus 3 plus x plus 5 plus x plus 3 plus x plus 5. When I collect these together, that will give 4x plus 16. Now let's look at the second half of the question. 4x plus 16 is the equation, uh, like the formula for the perimeter. So we can form an equation by making that equal to 36. 4x plus 16 equals 36. We can take 16 off both sides, so 4x equals 20. And then we can divide both sides by 4 to give us x equals 5. There could even be a part C to this question asking us about the length or the width or the area. So if x is 5, then the width is x plus is um, 5 plus 3, which gives us 8. The length is 5 plus 5, which gives us 10. And the area will be 8 times 10, which will be 80 centimetres squared. Question 2. Find x when the area of the shape is 45 centimetres squared. Okay, so the area of the rectangle is the width times the length. For this example, the width is x plus 3, and the length is x minus 1. So we can form an expression here. This needs to be equal to 45. So to solve this, let's first expand it. So x times x gives me x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. 3 times x is, is 3x. And then 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And that's all equal to 45. I can gather that together. So x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 45. To solve this, I need to rearrange to make the quadratic equal to 0. So let's take 45 off both sides. x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0. I now need to try and factorise it. Other methods include completing the square or using the quadratic formula. So two numbers that multiply to make minus 48 and add together to make minus 2 will be minus 6 and plus 8. So either x minus 6 equals 0 or x plus 8 equals 0. So x equals 6 or x equals minus 8. Now, for those two values, the length of any shape needs to be positive. So x minus 8 would give me minus 9, which would be the negative length. So we can only use the answer x equals 6. We can actually get two answers um, from any question as long as they both give positive length. Example 3, find x. This is a right angled triangle. So we can use a Pythagoras theorem problem to solve it. For Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a is x minus 3, b is x plus 4, and c is 13, remembering to square each term. So let's expand these two brackets. x minus 3 squared is the same as x minus 3 times x minus 3, which gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9 x plus 4 squared is the same as x plus 4 plus x plus 4 times x plus 4, so it's x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay, let's make the whole thing expand then. So we have our x squared minus 6x plus 9 here, our x squared plus 8x plus 16 here, and then 13 squared is 169. Let's collect all that together. So 2x squared, and then I have minus 6x plus 8x gives me the plus 2x, and then 9 of 16 is 25, and that equals 169. Let's make that equal to 0. So take 169 off both sides, and we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 104 equals 0. So now we have to try and solve that. We can either factorise, or we can use the formula, or we can complete the square. 
all of the terms are even. So I can take a factor of 2 out, which gives me 2 brackets x squared plus x minus 72 equals 0. Either the two, has to, um, the 2 can't be equal to 0, so I can just take that out of the factor. And now I can put this into brackets. So x squared plus x minus 72 equals 0. So I have x plus 9 and x minus 8. So x is either equal to minus 9 or 8. Um, and again, I want a positive length when I substitute in, so I need x is equal to 8.